Well, big federal budget cuts are set to happen tomorrow without a deal in Washington. The sequester will take $85 billion from federal programs. Experts say Vermonters may not feel the effects immediately, but if the impasse drags on, that could change. Kyle Maduro reports. At the Vermont National Guard base in Colchester, crews are preparing for Adjutant General-elect Stephen Cray to assume his new role. His first day as commander, the Guard may face more than a million dollars in budget cuts. The federal penny pinching is the result of a deal meant to be so toxic, Congress would be forced to negotiate an alternative. It was set up to not work. It was set up to not make sense. It was set up to bankrupt our country and put us back in recession. It wasn't supposed to happen. It doesn't need to happen. According to a White House release, grants for senior meals, substance abuse treatment, as well as environmental protection and cleanup will evaporate. But schools could lose the most. Bill Talbot works for the Agency of Education. He says federal dollars account for about 100 million of the state's $1.4 billion ed budget. Times .05. In a conference call, the National Secretary of Education told state leaders to count on a 5% reduction for everything but school lunch funds. I don't think it's devastating. It will mean adjustments. If there's good news, that's better than 8 or 9 percent. Cuts are currently targeted. Funding for 40 teachers and aides are on the line, including 20 staff working for children with disabilities. Talbot says the states and districts must fill in holes left in mandatory programs and will face tough choices elsewhere. A last-minute deal? won't necessarily change that. They have to do something, whether it's the sequester plan or something else, they've got to do something. And so there's going to be reduction somewhere. This school year is funded, but Talbot says the next year will be much better if states are allowed to determine where to make cuts. Kyle Madura, Channel 3 News, Burlington. Talbot says the planned federal cuts do not change the agency's commitment to reforms proposed by Governor Shumlin. Now, the military faces some of the deepest reductions with the sequester. At Camp Johnson today, Governor Peter Shumlin said initially he never imagined that Congress would allow that sequester to happen, but now believes it is a near certainty. Should the cuts take effect, more than 500 Guard members will likely be forced to take an unpaid day off every week through September. That will cover about $1.2 million in payroll savings, but mean a temporary 20 percent pay cut for those getting furloughed. I think everybody's concerned, and I think as a Vermont National Guard community, we're going to be able to chip in, um, you know, help each other out in the best ways that we can, you know, even if it means, you know, people bring in potluck lunches and, you know, instead of going out to lunch. Captain Diana Allen says because she doesn't have children, she won't be as affected as many of her peers. She says those who face potential furlough are canceling vacations, arranging possible carpools, and planning on providing daycare for each other.